Welcome to Taramba Zoo and welcome to the QBE Free Fly Bird Show. My name's Claudia and if you're here to see some birds, you are in luck because Australia is one of the richest countries when it comes to bird life. And as you can imagine, they come in all different shapes, sizes and colours and with some amazing abilities that we are going to demonstrate for you today. So let's get started on a high note with an aerial specialist collar kite. We have a beautiful kite called Stella joining us any moment right over your head. So what these birds can do is snatch up food in midair and pass them straight to their beaks and swallow them without ever having to land. Just like that. Now kites like Stella are scavengers and can be found around ports, deeps, abattoirs, anywhere that there's an easy meal to be found. And have a look how beautiful she looks flying around all on her own and imagine up to thousands of these birds in the sky all at once. Doing exactly what Stella's doing right now. Now we do have one last piece for Stella, so let's get her in a really good spot. Are we ready? Okay, up it goes. Excellent catch. Thank you, Stella. There's one thing they could not crack open, and that is the thick shell of an emu egg. But there's a small hawk, not that well known throughout Australia, called a black breasted buzzard that specializes in emu eggs. That's her there. So let's see what you do when you see an emu egg. <laughs> Looks very confused, don't you think? The reason is, even though Slammer is big and powerful, she's not powerful enough to crack that egg open without the help of a tool that comes in the shape of a rock. So let's see what happens when we give up, like breasted buzzard called Slammer. <laughs> Straight in, how good was that? A rock and an egg. You know, what Slammer is demonstrating is not something we ever had to teach her. The first time we gave her a rock and an egg, she knew exactly what to do. It's an instinct. She was born with this information. And it's so unique that there's only one other bird in the whole entire world that can do something even similar. <laughs> called an Egyptian vulture and found on the other side of the world in Africa. <laughs> and even though we never taught Slimer how to do all that, one more, bang! <laughs> we did train her on how to do one thing. We taught Slimer how to about and hunting during the day. Wow. But what kind of bird comes to mind if we think of a nighttime hunter? <laughs> Correct, owls. And if you're an owl, you're hunting at night and it's very dark, sometimes you cannot see so well. And you need to rely on other senses to be able to find yourself a meal. And owls have exceptional hearing, which we are going to demonstrate by hiding the sounds of frogs, which is what our barn owl likes to eat. And what I need is someone to help me decide where we can hide these. Gentlemen in the middle, what's your name? Hi, Chris. All you need to do from where you are is point either to the rock on that side or the rock on the other side. Which one would you like? That one, thanks so much for helping. I'm going to put a little bit of food, press play, hide it really well. And what I need you to do, Chris, is turn around and look all the way up there. And everyone can follow you to look because up there there's a hollow log. And any moment our barn owl, Cole Howard, is going to be flying on down to find himself a little bit of lunch. closer to you so you can have a look at the incredible design of that face. It's kind of shaped like a heart and how it works is it pushes the sound back to those ears which you cannot see but they are enormous and hidden underneath all those feathers. You would have also noticed how it here flew down pretty quietly and this is really handy for you to be able to sneak up on your prey without them ever knowing that you are coming. Yum. <laughs> so let's use our ears and see if we can hear now this here is Jasper and Jasper and I today are going to show you how clever a little galah can be. And what I need is the help of an adult volunteer with a gold coin. Need to see money! Gentlemen up there, stand up for me. What I need you to do is hold that coin between your thumb and forefinger to the side. What we're going to ask Jasper to do is fly all the way up. To steal your money. <laughs> and put it somewhere safe. My pocket. Thank you! Have a nice day! Don't 
Can anyone else want to play? Yeah? What about someone on this side? But we've done the coin thing. Why don't we do a 50 or a $100 bill? Anyone? You got a hundred? Stand up. No, we're only kidding, but thanks anyway. And we're actually only trying honest birds. So what we will do is return your money. So if I can get you to stand up. This time, palm flat to the sky, we will send your dollar with a very honest bird. He's going to put it back exactly where she found it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. See you later. It's missing. Now, without those toes, Minka cannot return back to the wild because she cannot hunt successfully to survive. You know, the human race does have a lot to answer for.